Okay, Shalom Israel. Shalom, Shalom. JD Nija coming back with a video, hopefully, of exhortation and edification for the 144 um, elect, the remnant of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and the one third of Israel. Our family, our heritage, our lineage, our culture, and our bloodline, going back to our forefathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yasharala, the family of Israel, Yasharala. Okay, so uh, I hope you all liked the last video. Um, I miss my brother Matthias. I'm feeling a little rough. I haven't I haven't heard him uh, speak the word for a while, but um, so I'm gonna come through with a message on. This is gonna be on regeneration, the fact that. We've been here many times before, and this is hopefully our last go around. Um, and this trip is going to be over, and we'll get to go into the kingdom and rule and reign in righteousness and um, order, because this place is out of order. <laughs> Fucking out of order, this place. Anyway, so um. I'm in the, uh, I'm in the Apocrypha, Apocrypha, these are the books that were taken out of the Bible because um, Esau Edom hates the truth and he figured if we didn't know the truth we'd stay in captivity forever, but he was wrong, he's wrong from the start to the finish, so, okay, um, Wisdom of Solomon. It starts in uh, chapter 2, Solomon 2. And uh, verse 1, For the ungodly said, reasoning with themselves, but not aright, our life is short and tedious, and in the death of a man there is no remedy. Neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave. Okay, so what what Solomon is saying is, they were reasoning with themselves that that's the way it is, but they were fooling themselves. They were reasoning not aright, saying life is short and tedious and no one comes back from the grave. In other words, Solomon saying right off the bat, these fuckers don't know what the hell's going on. Um, for verse two, for we are born at all adventure and we shall be hereafter as though we had never been. For the breath of our nostrils is as smoke and a little spark in the moving of our heart. Three, which being extinguished, our body shall be turned into ashes and our spirit shall vanish as the soft air. Four, and our name shall be forgotten in time and no man shall have our works in remembrance and our life shall pass away as a trace of a cloud and shall be dispersed as a mist that is driven away with the beams of the sun and overcome with the heat thereof. For our time is a very shadow that passeth away, and after our end there is no returning. For it is fast sealed that no man cometh again. And then it goes into um, verse 6. Come on, therefore, let us enjoy good things that are present and, you know, uh, use the creatures like as in youth. Let us fill ourselves with costly wine and ointments and let no flower of the spring pass by us let us crown ourselves with rosebuds before they be withered um, and then it goes into all the stuff that they do about um, not caring about widows and not reverencing people older people um, oppressing the poor righteous man verse 10 
um, let our strength be the law of justice, verse 11, for that which is feeble is found to be nothing worth. So they don't, they don't appreciate people that are hurt or unable to do something. If they can't, if they can run someone over, they will. Um, let us lie in wait for the righteous because he is not of our turn, verse 12, and he is clean contrary to our doings. He upbraideth us with our offending the law and objecteth to our infamy the transgressions of our education. In other words, everything we say about them is true and they hate it. Um, verse 13, he profess, he's talking about the um, men of the Lord. He professeth to have the knowledge of God and he call himself the child of the Lord. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And he was made to reprove our thoughts. Okay, so then it goes on. Um, he's grievous unto us. Um, we esteem Edom, Esau Edom as a counterfeit, which he is. Because all he does, does is, um, what's he do? He copies everything we do. Counterfeit. Um, he abstaineth from our ways as from filthiness. Filthy, filthy filthy Edomites. He presumeth the end of the just to be blessed and maketh his boast but, and maketh his boast that God is his father. I never realized I had such a lisp. <laughs> Salaki, brothers. Don't mean to uh, throw you off the message. But, um, so then it goes on, verse 17. 18, for the just man to be son of God, he will help him and deliver him from the hand of his enemies. Thank you. How about Hashem for that? Man, get these fuckers' hands off us, right? Um, let us examine him with despitefulness and torture that we may know his meekness and prove his patience. That's what they're doing now. They're, um, they're torturing us. Um, Let me see. I wanted to finish up with um, such things. Let us condemn him with a shameful death for by his own saying he will be respected. Verse 21. Such things they did imagine and were deceived for their own wickedness has blinded them. As for the mysteries of God, they know them not. As for the mysteries of God, they know them not. That They don't know the ways of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. They have no Rakakwadash and they're like what do they say? They're like stubble, they're they're ash, they're spittle. Um The mysteries of Yahweh, they know them not. Neither hope they for the wages of righteousness, nor discern a reward for blameless souls. For key verse here. Here's the meat. Verse 23. For Yahweh created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. Forever and ever and ever, right? Eternity. As long as he says we go on, that's how long we go on. And if he says we go on for eternity, that's how long we go on. Uh, verse 24, the final verse of um, Solomon 2 uh, in the wisdom of Solomon. Nevertheless, through envy of the devil came death into the world. And they that do hold of his side do find it. All right. So the key verse for God created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. So we're a reflection of forever being that we're created in his image the image that we have is an image that doesn't fade it's not going to burn up it's going to be um, as powerful as Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai so the key verses was that one and um, 
the the wicked say, for our time is very shadow and path is is a very shadow that passeth away, and after our end there is no returning, for it is fast sealed, so that no man cometh again. <laughs> no. The reasoning with themselves, but not aright. So, anyone who uh, is still struggling with regeneration, um, the wisdom of Solomon is the wisdom of Yahushai because Yahushai came to die for us because of his going off uh, at the time he was Solomon. He, um, he had the peace of the kingdom and he, and he prayed for um, wisdom and he got it. That's why the book's called the Wisdom of Solomon. Hey, hey, how's that fit together? Like a puzzle, right? <laughs> so the Wisdom of Solomon is the Wisdom of Yahawashai and the Wisdom of Yahawashai is the Wisdom of Yahawah. And Yahawah is the one who created everything. So how much wiser can you get than to know that you got to stand on those words, those promises. We we know we're not going anywhere, except out of here. Yahweh Bash Shem be, uh, thank, thank, thank you. The Wada. So that's the message for today. Um, hope you're doing all right, Matthias. Can't wait to, to get you back uh, out there throwing messages because I, I love your messages brother and um, I miss them and uh, to the family Yasharala this is your brother JD Nija reminding you that Esau Edom doesn't think straight they're you know what they are so um no matter what you're going through, if it's hard, tough, um, boring, uh, creepy, whatever it is that uh, that this devil is doing to uh, shake you up, just get in the scriptures and push on through, baby. We're almost there. All right. Love you, Israel. J.D. Nigel out.